My name is Denise Gosser. I'm an artist and a mom of three little boys, ages eight to two, and they're super busy. They're really, really busy boys. <laughs> Trying to have an art practice of any kind while maintaining any semblance of a household is really hard. Oh, that's mommy's. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no, no, no. You know, anybody that's trying to be a mom and do basically anything else understands the frustration of just, I can't do it all. What did you guys do today in your class? And I started to feel resentful of being a mom because I couldn't pursue my art. Um, but I also sometimes felt resentful of art because I didn't feel like I was embracing and cherishing and fully being in the moments of motherhood because my mind was sort of somewhere else. I thought, how can I, how can I like just accept what's going on and use the parameters that I've been given and then somehow work around that in a way that's almost better. And so I'm looking for this balance, I'm looking for this solution and that's where this project came about. It's called Art After, kind of like Art After Motherhood. Basically, they're all five by seven inch pieces and I only work on each piece until I get interrupted. So the moment that I can't keep working, the moment the kids are like too crazy and I feel like I have to stop, then I turn it over and I write the time I started, the time I finished, and what the interruption was that forced me to stop and um, then I never go back, I can't finish. Baby waking up after erupting in his pants. <laughs> baby you. woke up from nap. Except for, do you know who that baby was? Me. Me. Greg. Oh. And so I have accumulated 200 and I really wanted to show them as a group in a gallery. And they're all in varying stages of completion. So some were two minutes, some were two hours, some I got to complete, some were totally nowhere near being finished. And it's just the acceptance of it. Just let it stay unfinished and let it be what it is and kind of use that in the process. The backwards? Oh yeah. <laughs> so this project has helped me keep a foot in the door of a creative practice. So I used to kind of wait for like, okay, everything's done, I have several hours, I'm feeling creative, it's time to make art. This proves to me that I can just slip in the studio for two minutes. You don't have to be an artist or a mother to understand the layers of separation that stand between where you are and what you're doing and where you wish you could be. You could be somebody who loves to hike, somebody who wishes they had more time to exercise, not waiting for the circumstances to align perfectly, but just taking what you have and working bit by bit, and those little bits add up. I waited a long time after my second before I felt ready to have another baby, and when I did, I didn't feel scared. I didn't feel like I'm gonna lose myself because I knew that this project had my back. I knew that no matter what, two minutes here, 10 minutes there, I can keep my foot in the door and I can keep a creative practice. I can keep that piece of myself no matter what happens because I've proven to myself that I can.